I know you've been spying on me, Beth. You keep out of my business, or I'll... Or you'll what? You're the one keeping secrets. You can't touch this. Nya, 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 nya. You think I'm the only one who's sick of your gossip girl stick, huh? Sooner or later, you're gonna be back in your cave all by yourself. Whatever. At least then, I wouldn't have to hear your slimy voice. How's it ha How's it hanging? Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! <laughs> Chandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy. I'll get him there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lisbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. She was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, cause she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you, those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there, somewhere. Bro, that's not, just don't. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff, but maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. What's going on? All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Business. 
business king, sales savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Ah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission, for grump's sake. <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby. Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. Salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethika planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader, but I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. 
that's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. Hey, hey! How you doing, dog? Want something? Hi there.
What's up, dog? That's enough, Chandlo. You're going to make your biceps explode. I'm not stopping, dog. I almost got it. You know, I could just make a digging device. Uh, that's not the point, bro. I can do this. If you insist, I'll go ready some ice packs. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. But of course I do. But at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. I am Snorp Redacted Bean, and I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Well, I, I, I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Flufty tried to wrap me up in that experiment, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you.
ったのスプラッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッ
Charwee's a good boy, yes he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Come on, come on, come on. 